friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday friends, it's another Friday. It's almost the end of August, it's another weigh in, WW workshop a topic and I'm going to share with you how my week went and we'll set some goals moving in to the final week of August. Seriously, to this day, still blows my mind. So if you're excited for today's weigh in video, give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you reach whatever goals you're shooting for. I would love to help you. You're also going to find links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course, my my Facebook group, another community that would love to have you all down in that description box. And lastly, before we jump into this week's topic, on Sunday I released my first recipe ebook in a four part ebook series. This one is all about breakfast. 15 amazing recipes, all points plans included, as well as calories. So if you haven't picked up your ebook, it is only $15 and will be sent via email immediately after purchase. So definitely check that out. I'll make sure I link it down below as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this week's weigh-in. First of all, I wanted to say thank you for all of the love and support on the recipe ebook. It has been a smashing success. I knew that you would absolutely love it and it's so incredibly affordable for 15 recipes at your fingertips. So thank you again so much for your support. It seriously means the world to me and I will of course link that down below if you haven't gotten your hands on that. I also hope you had a fantastic week, that it went really well for you, that you're reaching your goals and that you're kicking whatever butt you should be kicking when it comes to your weight loss journey. I had a pretty good week. I actually ended up going to Jazzercise two times. I ended up not going on Saturday because I wasn't feeling very well. I had been having a few stomach issues. I think it was related to something that I ate and I just wasn't feeling very good Saturday morning and knew that I probably wouldn't make it through a Jazzercise super session. So I decided to go ahead and not go on Saturday, but I still got in my two days. They were fantastic workouts and I'm super proud that I'm continuously, consistently going to Jazzercise. I tracked all of my food. There were a couple of days that I didn't make the best food choices, if I'm being completely honest. There were a couple days I was over my calories, I was on my cycle, and we all know what happens. We crave foods we normally don't crave. We're a little more hungry than we normally are. Our hormones are all over the place, so it just makes it a little bit more challenging to be on a diet or lose weight or follow a healthy lifestyle. But overall, at least 80% of the week, I did I made good food choices and I did what I know I have to do to be successful. So I'm pretty grateful on how this last week turned out. Before I jump into some goals for next week, as well as this week's weigh-in, let's chat a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic. This topic is all about the scale, the dreaded, horrible, not very nice weight scale. If you're headed to the scale, make sure you have a scale action plan in place. The reasoning behind this is to create a scale action plan. So whatever that number is, whatever that scale tells you, you have a plan in place on how to deal with it, whether it's positive or negative. Number one is to think about exactly what will go into your scale action plan. First of all, when, where, and how often are you planning on weighing yourself? Now, I always tell my coaching clients, if you struggle with the scale, if whatever is on the scale ruins your entire day, your week, your month, maybe you should weigh less often. I don't recommend weighing more than once a week and even every two weeks if you are someone that struggles with what that number on the scale says. But we're all different. So you come up with a plan on when, where, and how often you're going to step on the scale. Next up is how will you boost your confidence before you step on the scale. Sometimes we do everything right and the scale doesn't cooperate. Sometimes we completely screw up and the scale blesses us with a fantastic number. How are you going to deal with whatever the scale tells you? Because it's unpredictable. 
somewhat unreliable and doesn't always give you a clear picture of how your week went. Next up is what will you say to yourself when you enter your weight into the WW app, your calorie tracking app, or you write it down, whatever you do with the number on the scale, what are you going to tell yourself? How are you going to make yourself feel better about the number on the scale if it wasn't what you expected? And lastly, and most importantly, what are you going to do after you weigh yourself? If you're disappointed with that number on the scale, are you going to give yourself permission to binge or treat yourself or eat foods you normally wouldn't eat? Or on the flip side, are you going to restrict yourself because you didn't see the number you wanted on the scale? This can also go with a positive number on the scale. You ha Maybe you completely screwed up and you lost weight. So now in your mind, you're like, well, I guess I can eat whatever I want and I should still lose weight. So this is probably the most important part is thinking about what you're going to do after you finish weighing yourself. Once you've thought about these four things, now it is time to assemble your plan. I'll weigh myself at this time on this day. Before I step on the scale, I'll do this. I'll talk myself up. I'll remind myself of the great week that I had. I'll tell myself no matter what the number on the scale says, it doesn't define who I am. It doesn't tell me how beautiful I am, how loved I am, how special I am, and how appreciated I am. I will say blank to myself when I enter my weight into my tracking app. And lastly, after I weigh myself, I'll do this. Maybe I'll go on a walk. Maybe I'll take a hot bubble bath. Maybe I'll do a little bit of self-care to set me up for success for the next week's weigh-in. I wanna share some tips with you guys from WW on weighing yourself. How often, what you should expect, how you should deal with that number on the scale. WW suggests to weigh yourself either weekly or daily. Now I somewhat agree with this, somewhat disagree with this. If you're someone who doesn't let the number on on the scale to find you, feel free to weigh yourself every day. If it completely ruins your day and your mood and your lifestyle, your diet, whatever you're following, it may not be beneficial to weigh yourself every single day. Like I said, we're all different and we have to do what works for us. If you are someone that is going to weigh daily, do not weigh yourself more than once per day. Pick a time every day to weigh yourself and make it the same time every single day. Our weight can fluctuate so much during the day depending on what we're eating, what we're drinking, what activities we're doing or not doing. So pick a day, pick a time and stick with it. When you're weighing yourself, try to focus on an NSV or a non-scale victory. Think about something positive that you did that week, no matter what that number on the scale says. When you're stepping on the scale, make sure you're in a positive headspace. And when you're logging your weight, repeat words of affirmation to yourself. The scale is only a number. I am strong. I am beautiful. I'm doing fantastic on my weight loss journey. The scale does not define who I am. Make sure that you're giving yourself positive affirmation while you're tracking your weight in whatever app you choose to track your weight in. And lastly, after you're done weighing, tracking your weight, telling yourself how amazing you are, make sure that you do something good for yourself after it's all over with. Have a glass of water, take a walk, read a book, take a bubble bath, do something positive for yourself, no matter what that number on the scale says. Because remember, it's only a number and it does not define how truly amazing you are. I really like this topic. I think it is one that should have been discussed earlier at the WW workshops and should be discussed moving forward because there are a lot of people who let the scale dictate how they feel. So many of my coaching clients basically taken the scale away from them and only allowed them to weigh in before our coaching sessions because it can wreak havoc on how they feel about themselves, how the rest of their day goes. So do a little deep diving into yourself and figure out how the scale affects you. And if it affects you so negatively, then rethink how often you're weighing yourself. So now that we've discussed stepping on the scale, let's talk about when I stepped on the scale. Like I mentioned, I had a decent week, not my best week, wasn't my best work, but I had a decent week. And when I stepped on the scale, I actually lost weight this week. I am down point four. So I lost a little bit that I gained last week and then an additional point two pounds. I'll take it. You guys know how I feel about point this, point that, adding up to a pound. And I'm glad that coming off of my cycle, as well as not eating the best, I was still able to lose weight. It just goes to show that by following an 80-20 approach and by eating enough to maintain your metabolism, keeping it stoked and fired up is the way to go to see success on the scale, even when it's not your best week. Moving into this next week, we are starting the remodel of our floors of our house. So it's been very chaotic. 
Uh, Troy and I are sleeping in separate rooms while the flooring in our bedroom is being put in and we're having to basically move again which we said we would never do again. Not necessarily move out of our house, but move rooms. So everything in our bedroom has to be moved to another room and then moved back. So basically, we're moving. Now the plus side to this, besides the physical activity, is that we are doing a lot of spring cleaning, so to speak. We're just really cleaning everything. Once all the furniture's out, we're cleaning all the furniture. Troy actually restained our log bed, and it's been really good for us to get our house back to that brand new house kind of a feel. So our flooring is going in, it's looking great. I will continue to keep you guys updated with that in my What I Eat In A Days, but it does play a little bit of a challenge when it comes to preparing meals. That's something that I'm going to be focusing on this next week as well as tracking, getting in my exercise, and in fact in my summer challenge group in Facebook we are having a tracking challenge in September. So as I move into September I'm really going to be putting some concrete tracking in place and focusing on that for the month of September. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was, how did it go for you, how was your weigh-in, what do you think about this whole scale situation, and let us know too how often you weigh yourself and why. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you for your support for the launch of my ebook. I'm already working on ebook number two, which is full of lunch recipes. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to pick it up. If you haven't already, it is linked down in the description box with nutrition coaching links, discounts to my favorite things. And of course my Facebook group, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you are new and you're not part of our community, come on over, join us. We'd love to have you to do that. Just simply hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Friday, and I'll see you in the next video.